Hello everyone, I'm Lester Hernandez and today I'll be going over the first part of my tutorial on DaVinci Resolve 14. Uh, DaVinci Resolve is basically an editing software that you can use to basically edit footage that you have already recorded using other software. This tutorial will basically cover the timeline and the editing features that we have available on the timeline. The timeline is the main tab of the program. It will basically open in this uh, tab. As you can see here, we can switch between tabs. This will be the color editing tab, Fairlight, which is for audio editing, and uh, Deliver, which is for rendering. Media is to manage all the media. Uh, timeline is the edit or timeline is basically the main tab of the program. Uh, we can go um, straight ahead and start working with the program. First, what we would do is import uh, media that we have already pre-recorded. I have uh, taken care of that and I have recorded a sample video to work on this tutorial. Here it's telling me that the frame rate of the video is different than the one of the timeline. We, we always should um, choose change here because we don't want the timeline having a different frame rate of the video that we have recorded. Once the media is in, you can see it here. We can bring it into the timeline. And the first thing you will notice is that we have the whole video track and audio track in here. This is basically the where the timeline starts. Don't worry about that. What we need to worry about is the minute count and second count, which is shown here. And you'll notice that some of the parts of the video are, are showing something called media on offline. And the media offline basically means that we have frames that are not being decoded properly by the software. DaVinci Resolve is meant to work with um, decompressed file formats. This footage was recorded in OBS and basically most recording software is encode their files while using a compressed um, codec. And that uh, is a problem using DaVinci Resolve. Luckily, there's an easy fix for this. We can right click into the file and then select generate optimized media what this basically does is transcode our file into a format that can be easily edited in DaVinci Resolve 14 once the file is transcoded into a more optimized format we can just go ahead and delete the video from our, from our timeline bring it on again and you'll notice that it doesn't have the media offline frames anymore as the video has been optimized for use with DaVinci Resolve 14 something to keep in mind is that optimized media can actually take a lot of hard drive space for example, the optimized file of a 16 minute footage could take approximately 100 gigabytes of hard drive space. So yes, plenty of hard drive space will be needed to take advantage of this editing software. The file that I have imported basically consists of footage of a text file with a block of text in it. And we're basically scrolling up and down through the text file. This is a simple video, but it is perfect for our tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is we want to probably take out um, the part of the video showing our OBS recording software and starting the recording. This uh, basically expands up to this point. We would want to probably take out all of this software out. We can use this tool, which is basically the eraser, to cut this part of the video out. We select it, we cut it, we select it, and then we delete it using the delete um, button on our keyboard. As you can see, the software doesn't have that part of the video anymore. And we can do the same for the end. But now I'll use just for the sake of showing uh, some other features of DaVinci. I'll show the freeze frame feature, which is a feature that you might be, find yourself using it very often. So we're going to go ahead and cut the ending part of the footage where we actually end the recording in OBS. So we go all the way back. It basically it starts close to here. And we're going to try to leave some text frames into the clip that we're going to cut. So we cut the clip. We go here. We select the timeline. We move it a little bit into the frames that have some text in it right here where the uh, OBS is not showing yet. So we go ahead and we choose, we make sure that the clip is selected. Then we go to clip and select freeze frame. And as you can see, it's basically what it does is that the frame that we have selected is now populated over the whole clip that we had already cut. We keep the audio of that final part of the clip. And instead of showing OBS and us stopping the recording, it will show what is basically a still of the block of text. Other things we can do in the timeline is we can select the clip and play it here. Of course, it will work if the clip is not being played in the timeline. So if we had a, a second clip, we would actually select it and play it here. And this will basically play the timeline as it shows here. Another thing would be lowering the audio. This would actually show in the final rendering of the file, the audio that we select. And we can zoom in and out into the timeline, as you can see. So we can, so if we have a long clip, we can actually move through it faster and select different things. There are other options here and other tools that we can use. However, I have not used any of them in the time that I've been recording with the software. Other features that we would occasionally use would be uh, locking 
either the audio or the video track in case we have audio for a part but then the video is not in sync we will lock the audio and cut the video or basically edit the video or add footage into the file depending on what we want to do and that's basically all for this um, part one of the uh, davinci resolve tutorial if you're not interested in learning how to blur a block of text or something showing in your video then you can just go ahead and skip into the rendering part of this tutorial series i'll see you next time